um, today I've got a new suspension kit for the camper trailer. If you remember back in a couple of episodes where we tried to go to Mitchell Falls and the suspensions of the MDC camper trailer unfortunately failed a little bit so we're now in Darwin Northern Territory I decided to upgrade a little bit after speaking to a suspension guy he recommended Lovells to me and they actually make a kit that's specially made for the MDC Cruiser high side so I've ordered it in it's around about a thousand bucks um, you can get two uh, models there one is your standard standard they call it an extreme uh, suspension kit and the other one is the extreme lift which gives it a two inch lift as well so i've gone with the lift version i always thought that this camp trailer sits way too low so two inch will be perfect for this it's going to give it a nice lift give it a bit more ground clearance and i'm going to try to install these ones myself have i done it before no nah. Have I done suspensions before? Yes, I have. I have installed the suspensions on my Hilux before, so I do know a little bit about it, um, but it doesn't seem that hard. Anyway, I'll let you guys have a look at what I do. If I screw it up, you'll be part of it. If it works, you'll see it as well, because they'll be rolling on the road soon. All right, without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'll show you what's in the kit. So we obviously have the suspension itself with a rubber or silicon type um, protector sleeve up here and they do look really good they got a good feel to them I've had the other ones off before and what failed in the other ones is these little rubbers here they, they failed and they look like they are the same sort of rubbers um, that, or, or, or shock sleeves that the ones that I've got. But that's good because I've got a few spares. You spit that in. Wow. So you do get some heavy duty springs with this. They do feel heavy duty. So there's a set of springs in here. And some mud flaps. Make sure everyone knows that I run levels. Before, what else we got? Ooh, look at this. <laughs> um, I believe these are the screws to screw the whole thing on. Oh, these shackles. Can never have enough of these. It's good. What else we got? A couple of level stickers. A thank you note. Packed by Jessica. Nice. That's it. So, without further ado, let's get on fitting the little things. In order to get the suspensions out, you actually have to take out the water tank too, which is a pain in the butt. You have to do it. See those bolts there? That bolt will not come out because of the water tank and that's unfortunately the case on both sides so I'm gonna to have to remove that water tank now. Let's get to it.
So we've fitted all four um, shocks now. Now it's down to the, the springs only. Got the water tank back up. It is a bit of a pain in the ass to get these things in. I've got to say, you've got to shave that rubber off and really squeeze them in. Um, I had to use the old bolts, the ones that came with the kit were just too long. So I just reused the old ones, still right. Now in order to get the spring in, we've got to get the uh, arrestor or the little chain here that keeps the spring from popping out off. So I'm just going to do that now. Now, they come with new ones, so we're just going to bend the old ones, put new ones in. Okay. Yeah. Right, that's it. All sorted. Two inch lift. Done. <laughs>